Hi everybody, welcome back to Middle Grade Book Talks. My name is Heather and I'm a children's specialist with the St. Paul Public Library and I'm really excited about the two books I'll be talking about today. Just um, a reminder to please go to sbpl.org where you can find these books, other books. Um, there's a lot of book lists being published, so if you need more ideas on what to read and also some really good um, virtual programming for youth, so do check that out. I want to mention that the first book I'll be talking about just comes in a hardback copy. The second book comes in a hardback print copy and an ebook version. So let's get started. Have you ever heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Well, too bad, because I went through piles and piles of books, flinging aside all the ones with boring covers until I finally found two with great covers. Covers that seemed to scream to me, read me, read me next. Fortunately, they were just as good on the inside as they look on the outside. I guess you could say I'm a good judge of covers. Up first, Owl's Outstanding Donuts by Robin Yardy. Maybe more books need to feature uh, a donut on the cover, because I will definitely pick up a book with a donut and an owl on the cover, two things that I absolutely love. I also love a mystery. So two shadowy figures set against a woodsy background under the cover of darkness. I just have to know what is happening. Are they there to steal all the donuts? I bet the owl knows. When the story opens, it's the last days of summer and soon to be fifth grader, Maddie is living in Big Sur, California with her aunt Molly, who runs the donut shop. The two live in a cozy little Airstream trailer just across from the shop and on the edge of a very popular campground. Now Maddie is very good friends with siblings Sasha and Beanie, whose parents run the campground. And things start to get a little um, tense between Sasha and Maddie because Maddie reveals something to Sasha. She tells Sasha that in the middle of the night she witnessed um, a white pickup pull up two people get out with a hose and dump something strange onto the ground. What's stranger is she tells Sasha that she knows this because an owl with um, pink icing on it tapped at her window and alerted her to this strange activity. Okay, so this sets the stage for Maddie, Beanie, and a reluctant Sasha to start to investigate this mysterious substance and this strange owl. And it's a tense situation because Aunt Molly's shop is in jeopardy if she doesn't find out who's polluting the um, ground and the water around her shop. So this is a really fun, engaging mystery, but I especially loved the setting. I love a good woodsy setting and there's a lot of scenes at nighttime and there's also really fun scenes that take place in the donut shop where Maddie knows all of the regulars, she knows their quirks, she knows what they're going to order. Um, since losing her mom, uh, Maddie, you know, she really depends on her Aunt Molly. So if anything happens to the shop, it could be really devastating for both of them. So that really propels the girls to try to figure out um, the mystery. And lastly, I just want to mention that all the chapters, all 24, are named for a particular donut featured in the shop. So my personal favorite would be from chapter one, the Strawberry Iced Classic. Help Maddie and her friends solve this mystery in Owl's Outstanding Donuts by Robin Yardy. All right, are you ready for another cool cover? This is The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix, and this is book one of The Greystone Secrets. And I am immediately intrigued by this cover. I see a house nestled in some dark woods, and then a reflection of the house below, which is pretty curious. And I don't know, is that an underground house? Is that a house in a parallel universe? I also see three figures, and then three more just below, which makes me wonder, are those the same characters or different characters? And then you have all of these like symbols and equations hanging from the tree branches, which makes me think that maybe there are puzzles to solve, codes to break. Oh, and there's also a cat near the bottom, which is always a good sign because cats are great. Well, I read this book and it's just as good as, as the cover. Um, I can't say a ton about it because I don't want to give away too much, but this is what you need to know. The story has four central characters. Um, three are siblings. 
There's Finn, age 8, Emma, age 10, and Chess, who is 12 years old. And then there's a slightly older neighbor girl named Natalie. And it's just a normal day when the story starts. The kids get home from school, they pop into the kitchen, say hi to mom, and they immediately know something is very, very wrong. Mom is upset, maybe even frightened, um, and she tells the kids that there has been a kidnapping. Three children have been kidnapped. And what's frightening is that these kids have the same birthdays as her kids and the same exact names. So soon after mom announces she's leaving, she's going on a business trip and she doesn't know when she'll return. But before she leaves, she utters these words, don't forget anything. And that's the beginning of this spooky, mysterious adventure that will lead these four kids through secret doors, down dark tunnels. Um, they'll be deciphering coded letters and puzzles all in an attempt to find their mother and to also learn the mystery behind these three missing children. Each chapter is told from the viewpoint of one of the siblings, and I have to say the tension and the danger just build and build and build throughout the story until finally you get one heck of a dramatic um, cliffhanger for an ending. But don't worry, because book two, The Deceivers, is already out. Um, but do start the adventure here, book one, The Strangers, uh, part of the Greystone Secrets, series by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I hope you had fun listening to these book talks today. I certainly had fun. And remember, you can go to sppl.org to reserve your copy um, or find out what else is um, happening um, at the library. Um, there's lots of good book lists being published online. So, um, Please do that and also remember to read and share what you're reading with somebody and most importantly, don't judge a book by its cover. Well, sometimes you can. Okay, everybody. I'm Heather. I will see you next week. In the meantime, keep reading.